What's going on everybody? My name is Riley Woodall and I'm once again joined with Alex Hines and IU Fan Shop is back and this week we took it to the baseball diamonds. Right behind us is beautiful Bart Kaufman Field, home of the Indiana Hoosiers baseball team. They are taking on Northwestern today. It's a beautiful Sunday. Alex, we got a raucous crowd inside and a lot of great action coming up. I'm excited. Absolutely. It's the first Big Ten series for either of these two teams. Both have a win against each other so far. Looking to get that first series win that's hugely important. We're going to have a great crowd today. Let's see how the game goes. Absolutely, and I know you're a baseball guy yourself. I know you're just chomping at the bit to get in there and get in on all the action. But before we get started, I hear you have some quick facts for us. I do indeed. Let's try one out here right now. Bart Kaufman Field right behind us opened on April 26th of 2013. We're nearing the nine year anniversary. They won their first game 15 to one against Miami. We've seen how high powered the current offense is. Maybe they can replicate something like that today. We'll see you guys inside. Hi guys, I'm back here with Mark and uh, Tyler. All right, guys, what is a sentimental memory for you with baseball? Uh, coaching Little League in Washington, Indiana for about 15 years. I won a Little League championship once. That was pretty cool. But we're here with... Patterson. Patterson. All right, guys, now who is your favorite baseball player? Ooh, okay, good choices. Quick fact number two, there were six Hoosiers in Major League Baseball last year, including Alex Dickerson of the Braves and former number 10 for the Hoosiers and World Series champion Kyle Schwarber. He's with the Phillies now. Opening day for Major League Baseball is on April 7th. We'll see how these former Hoosiers do in this coming season. As I'm joined here with Silas, Peyton, Max, Ben, Shout. And you guys are members of Wilmington Big Red. <laughs> um, we go to like Columbus and towns close to us, and we're going to Kentucky and Missouri this year. Ooh, that's awesome. That's awesome. All right. Favorite player, amateur or professional? Kyle Schwarber. I don't have a favorite player. I can't pick one. Uh, probably Javier Baez, Fernando Tatis Jr., and Juan Soto. Probably Tatis. Nicholas Castellanos. <laughs> <laughs> Castellanos. Yeah, of course. Hey, we had one more person join us. What's your name, my friend? My name is EJ. EJ, who is your favorite baseball player? Judge. Yeah, Ooh, good choice, good choice. <laughs> that's the second one today. Alex, hit him with quick fact number three. Matthew Ellis just hit his 12th home run of the season earlier today. He leads the Big Ten. He hit one 485 feet earlier this year. That man crushes the baseball. And we're back here with... I'm Mike Jackson. What's your name? Jude. Nice to meet you guys. <laughs> All right, so at the ballpark... What's your favorite part of just being at the ballpark watching baseball? I mean, playing catch with my son on a nice day. Uh, it's my birthday today. I mean, happy, happy birthday. birthday. I can't ask for much more than that, yeah. Absolutely, love the ballpark. Joined with? Steven Miles. All right, so what's your favorite baseball memory that you've had? Uh, watching a Little League team come back from six, down 15 to six and come back in two innings to win the game. Wow, that's that's impressive. That's impressive. And now, growing up, who's your favorite baseball player? Uh, Derek Jeter. Well, Riley, it's the fifth inning right about now, and personally, this is about when I go get a snack from the concession stand. I'm a pretzel kind of guy, personally. What about you? What's your go-to when you go to the concessions? I mean, Alex, I personally gotta go nachos with cheese. That has been my day one, my go-to. I respect that. There's so many options out there too from the concessions. You know what? Let's go around the crowd and ask them what they have to say on the issue. Nachos. Nachos, good choice. Good choice. Probably just a hot dog. Popcorn. I mean, it's hard to hard to beat a ballpark hot dog. Ooh, gotta be pretzel with cheese. Popcorn. 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 Yeah, Popcorn. Good Popcorn. Good yeah, good choice. Yeah, good choice. <laughs> Quick fact number four: the Hoosiers are 11 and 14 coming into today on the season, one and one in Big Ten play. They had a big win against Kentucky, 20 to seven earlier this season, and won five to four against Northwestern in the first game of the series on Friday. 
They're looking to take their second Big Ten game today. We're back here with Zach, Andrew, Matt, Jared, Johnny, Ryan. If you were batting against Ryan Kraft right now, do you guys think you could make contact? And we'll give you 15 pitches. Absolutely. Right with him. Probably not. Nope. No, but I'm not mistake. Yeah. Alex, quick fact number five. Hoosiers, Hoosiers are trying to make their first postseason since 2019 when they went three years in a row. They haven't made the College World Series since 2013. Tough loss today for the Indiana Hoosiers baseball team, dropping the final game of the three-game series to Northwestern 13-6. But Alex, we still had an amazing turnout, a great crowd today. And we still saw some, some positives for this IU Hoosiers team headed into the latter half of their season. What were some of those positives that they can build upon going into the rest of this Big Ten campaign? Yeah, well, first off, Matthew Wells hit another homer, extending his Big Ten lead. And the bats started to wake up late. That was a good sign. They got six runs across. The fight in this team is extraordinary. But most of all, Riley, you mentioned it. The fans who stuck out through it all today on a wonderful Sunday afternoon. What more could you ask from these amazing Hoosier fans? Shows the real dedication that these amazing fans have, that these Indiana Hoosiers have. But... For me and Alex Hines, that's going to do it for us today. Be sure to follow us on Twitter at IU Fan Shop and send us all your photos and videos at the different IU athletic events that you're at, showing off your IU apparel, and we'll be sure to feature you on the next episode, and we will see you guys next time. Look,